Lesson 1, Leaving the Office Early Hey, I noticed you left the office earlier today. Can I ask why? Oh, I had a doctor's appointment this afternoon. It was just a routine checkup. I see. Is everything okay? I hope it wasn't anything serious. No worries, John. It was just a regular checkup to make sure everything is fine. Nothing serious at all. That's a relief to hear. It's important to take care of our health. Did you have to schedule the appointment in advance? Yes, I made the appointment a couple of weeks ago. It's always a good idea to plan ahead, especially for doctor visits. Right, planning ahead is essential. Did you inform our supervisor about leaving early? Yes, I spoke to our supervisor in the morning and let them know about my appointment. It's important to communicate such things with the team. Communication is key indeed. I'm glad you informed them. Did you finish all your tasks before leaving? Yes, I made sure to complete my pending tasks and informed my colleagues about any ongoing projects. It's important to wrap things up before leaving early. That's responsible of you, Anna. Did you need to make up for the missed time later? No, my supervisor understood the situation, and I didn't have to make up for the missed time. It's always good to have a supportive work environment. That's great to hear. It's important to have understanding colleagues and supervisors. I'm glad you have that. Absolutely, John. It makes a big difference. Is there anything else you'd like to ask about leaving the office early? No, that covers it. Thanks for sharing, Anna. I hope your checkup went well. Thank you, John. It was a routine visit, and everything went smoothly. I appreciate your concern. You're welcome, Anna. Take care of yourself, and if you have any questions or need any help, feel free to reach out. I will, John. Thanks again for your support. Let's continue to work together as a team. Definitely, Anna. We make a great team. Let's keep up the good work. Lesson 2, Rock Climbing Adventure I'm really excited to try rock climbing for the first time. That sounds like an amazing adventure. Have you done any research on it? Yes, I've been reading about different climbing techniques and safety precautions. It's crucial to learn the basics before you start. Have you considered taking a class? Absolutely. I've already signed up for a beginner's rock climbing course next week. That's a smart move. They'll teach you proper techniques and how to use the equipment. I'm a bit nervous about heights. Any tips to overcome that fear? Start with indoor climbing walls. They're a great way to build confidence and get used to the heights. I'll definitely give it a try. 
What kind of gear do I need for rock climbing? You'll need a harness, climbing shoes, a helmet, and a chalk bag for a better grip. Should I buy my own gear or can I rent it at the climbing gym? It's best to rent gear at first. Once you're sure you're committed, you can invest in your own equipment. Good to know. Safety is important. What are some common safety practices? Always double check your knots, communicate with your climbing partner, and be aware of your surroundings. What about falling? How do I protect myself? Falling is a part of climbing. That's why you'll have a belayer who will control the rope and catch your falls. I see. It's reassuring to know there's someone there to keep me safe. Trusting your belayer is crucial. It's a partnership built on communication and support. What kind of physical preparation should I do before rock climbing? Focus on building upper body and core strength, as well as improving your flexibility and endurance. I'll start incorporating those exercises into my workout routine. Any specific recommendations? Push-ups, pull-ups, planks, and yoga can all be beneficial for rock climbing. Great! I'll start practicing those exercises right away. Don't forget to warm up before each climbing session and stretch afterward to prevent injuries. I'll keep that in mind. I can't wait to experience the thrill of climbing. It's an exhilarating sport that will challenge you both physically and mentally. I'm ready for the challenge. Thanks for all your advice, Anna. You're welcome, John. Just remember to enjoy the journey and take it one climb at a time. I will, Anna. I'm grateful for your support and guidance. Have an incredible time on your rock climbing adventure. Stay safe and have fun. Thank you, Anna. I'll make sure to share my experience with you afterwards. Lesson 3. Enjoying the hotel pool. Have you tried swimming in this hotel? The pool is amazing. Yes, I went for a swim yesterday. It's indeed a luxurious experience. How is the water temperature? Is it too cold or just right? The water temperature is perfect. It's neither too cold nor too warm. Just refreshing. That sounds inviting. Is the pool area crowded, or is it usually quiet? It's surprisingly quiet most of the time. I guess not many guests use the pool area. That's a pleasant surprise. I enjoy a peaceful swim without too much noise. Me too. It's a great place to relax and unwind after a long day. Are there any poolside amenities, like lounge chairs or umbrellas? Yes, they have comfortable lounge chairs and umbrellas for shade. It's quite relaxing. I like the sound of that. Are there any restrictions or guidelines we should follow? 
They do have some rules, like no diving and no food near the pool. But overall, it's pretty straightforward. Safety first, of course. Are there any specific pool hours we should be aware of? The pool is usually open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. It's good to know the operating hours. Thanks for the information, Anna. I'll make sure to plan my swim accordingly. You're welcome, John. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Let me know if you need a pool buddy. That would be great. It's always more fun to swim with a friend. I'll definitely let you know. Perfect. Looking forward to it. Let's make the most of this luxurious pool during our stay. Absolutely, Anna. It's a fantastic amenity, and we should take full advantage of it. Agreed, John. Let's dive in and have a splashing good time. Sounds like a plan, Anna. Let's make a splash and enjoy our time at the pool. Lesson 4, Team Meeting After Returning to the Office I think it's important for us to have a team meeting once we're back in the office. What do you think, Anna? I agree, John. A team meeting would be a great way to catch up, align our goals, and discuss any updates. Exactly. It's essential to be on the same page and ensure everyone is aware of the latest developments. I think we should also take the opportunity to share our individual progress and any challenges we might be facing. That's a good point, Anna. It's crucial to create an open and supportive environment where we can help each other. Absolutely. Team meetings are a perfect platform for collaboration and finding solutions together. Should we set an agenda for the meeting to ensure we cover all the necessary topics? Yes, having a clear agenda will keep us focused and make the meeting more productive. We can send it out in advance. Great idea. It will give everyone a chance to prepare and contribute to the discussion effectively. I also think it's important to allocate time for any questions or concerns team members might have. Definitely. We should encourage open communication and ensure everyone's voice is heard during the meeting. I agree, John. It's crucial for fostering a positive and inclusive team culture. Once we finalize the agenda, we can schedule the meeting and inform the team about the date and time. Sounds like a plan, John. Let's make sure to choose a suitable time when everyone is available. Absolutely, Anna. We want maximum participation and engagement from the team. Should we also consider any specific presentation or materials that need to be prepared for the meeting? Yes, if there are any reports or updates that require visual aids, we should inform the team in advance. Good point, John. Visuals can help convey information more effectively and enhance understanding. I'm glad we're on the same page, Anna. Let's work together to make this team meeting a success. Definitely, John. 
With proper planning and collaboration, I'm confident it will be a valuable and productive session. Thank you for your input, Anna. Let's get to work on the agenda and make sure we cover all the important topics. You're welcome, John. I'm looking forward to the meeting and our team's progress. Let's make it happen. Absolutely, Anna. Together, we'll achieve great things. Lesson 5, Travel Documents Did you bring all the travel documents? Yes, I have my passport and ticket right here. Great! Don't forget to check if you need a visa for our destination. I already checked. I don't need a visa for this trip. That's a relief. It saves us time and hassle. Absolutely. It's important to have all the necessary documents in order. Did you also bring your identification card? Yes, I have my ID card with me as well, just in case. Good thinking. It's always good to have a backup form of identification. Exactly. You never know when you might need it. What about any travel insurance? Did you purchase one? Yes, I got travel insurance to cover any unexpected situations. That's smart. It gives us peace of mind during the trip. I made sure to have all the important documents organized in my travel wallet. That's great. It helps keep everything secure and easily accessible. I also took photos of all the important documents, just in case. Excellent idea. Having digital copies can be very useful. It's always better to be prepared for any unforeseen circumstances. Absolutely. It's better to have everything in order before we leave. I agree, being organized makes the journey smoother. Now that we have all the travel documents, we're ready for a great trip. Yes, let's enjoy our journey and make unforgettable memories. Here's to a fantastic adventure ahead. Lesson 6, Business Cooperation Let's have a good start for our business cooperation. Absolutely, a strong start sets the foundation for success. We should begin by discussing our goals and expectations. Agreed. It's important to be on the same page from the beginning. What are the key objectives you have in mind for this collaboration? I think increasing market share and expanding our customer base are crucial. Those are great goals. I also believe in focusing on customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction leads to loyalty and long-term success. Exactly. We should prioritize building strong relationships with our clients. I agree, providing excellent service will differentiate us from competitors. 
we should also establish effective communication channels within our teams. Yes, clear and open communication is essential for smooth operations. How about setting specific targets and milestones to track our progress? That's a good idea. It keeps us accountable and motivated. We should also allocate resources wisely and manage costs effectively. Absolutely, maximizing efficiency and minimizing waste is crucial. Let's create a detailed action plan to guide our collaboration. Yes, a well-defined plan will help us stay focused and organized. Regularly reviewing our performance and making adjustments is important too. Continuous improvement is key to staying ahead in the business world. I'm confident that with our shared vision and dedication, we'll succeed. I believe so too. Together, we can achieve great things. Here's to a prosperous and fruitful business partnership. Lesson 7, Production Capacity Increase I think we should plan to increase our production capacity. That's a great idea. It will help us meet growing demand. We need to analyze our current capacity and identify areas for improvement. Agreed. We should assess our bottlenecks and find ways to optimize. One option could be investing in new machinery or technology. That could certainly enhance efficiency and productivity. We should also consider hiring additional skilled workers. Yes, expanding our workforce can help us handle higher production volumes. Let's conduct a cost-benefit analysis to evaluate different options. That's a wise approach. We need to ensure a positive return on investment. We should also review our supply chain and streamline processes. Absolutely, a well-optimized supply chain can reduce lead times. It's important to communicate with our suppliers and negotiate favorable terms. Yes, building strong partnerships with suppliers is key to success. We should set clear targets for the increased production capacity. Definitely, having measurable goals will keep us focused. Regular monitoring and performance tracking will help us stay on track. Continuous improvement is essential in a competitive market. We should also consider implementing lean manufacturing principles. That can help us eliminate waste and improve overall efficiency. Let's involve our team and gather their input and ideas. Collaboration and employee engagement are vital for success. With a well-executed plan, we can meet market demands effectively. I believe in our ability to adapt and grow. We'll make it happen. Here's to successfully increasing our production capacity. Lesson 8, Sales Report Presentation Anna, I need you to present the sales report. 
Sure, I'd be happy to present the sales report. Please make sure to include key figures and trends. I'll provide a comprehensive overview of our sales performance. It would be great if you could highlight any significant changes or growth. I'll emphasize any notable developments in the sales figures. Make sure to present the data in a clear and organized manner. I'll create visual charts and graphs to enhance understanding. It's important to explain the methodology used to gather the data. I'll provide insights into the data collection process. Please also analyze the sales by region and product category. I'll break down the sales data to give a detailed analysis. It would be beneficial to compare the current sales with previous periods. I'll include comparisons to provide context and identify trends. Don't forget to mention any challenges or obstacles we faced. I'll discuss any difficulties encountered during the reporting period. It would be helpful to propose strategies for future sales growth. I'll provide recommendations to improve our sales performance. Make sure to leave time for questions and discussion after the presentation. I'll allocate sufficient time for Q&A to address any inquiries. I have confidence in your ability to deliver a compelling presentation. Thank you for the opportunity. I'll do my best to present an engaging report. I appreciate your dedication and commitment to this task. Thank you, John. I'm excited to present the sales report. I look forward to hearing your presentation. Good luck, Anna. Lesson 9, Carton Delivery to Warehouse Anna, have all the cartons been delivered to our warehouse? Yes, John. All the cartons have been successfully delivered. That's great news. Did we receive everything according to the order? Yes, the delivery was complete and matched our order. Excellent. Now we can proceed with inventory management. Absolutely, we need to ensure accurate tracking of our stock. Have the cartons been properly labeled for easy identification? Yes, each carton has been labeled with the relevant information. That will make it easier for our warehouse team to handle them. Agreed. Proper labeling streamlines the sorting process. Have we conducted a quality check on the delivered cartons? Yes, we've inspected the cartons to ensure they meet our standards. It's crucial to maintain the quality of our products. Absolutely, quality control is essential for customer satisfaction. Have we updated our inventory records to reflect the new stock? Yes, our inventory records have been updated accordingly. That's good to hear. It helps us maintain accurate stock levels. 
We've also allocated space in the warehouse for the new stock. Excellent. Organized storage facilitates efficient operations. We've coordinated with the warehouse team for proper placement. It's important to optimize the use of our warehouse space. Absolutely, maximizing space helps improve productivity. Now that the delivery is complete, we can fulfill customer orders. Yes, we can proceed with order processing and shipment. Let's make sure to monitor the warehouse inventory closely. Agreed. Regular checks will prevent stockouts and overstocking. Thank you, Anna, for overseeing the carton delivery process. You're welcome, John. I'm glad everything went smoothly. Your attention to detail is greatly appreciated. Thank you, John. I always strive for excellence. With our efficient warehouse operations, we can meet customer demands. Absolutely, John. We're well equipped to provide prompt service. Let's continue to work together to deliver exceptional results. I'm excited to contribute to our continued success, John. Thank you, Anna. Your dedication is invaluable to our team. Lesson 10, Supermarket Shopping. Anna, I bought milk, eggs, and chicken at the supermarket. That's great, John. We needed those items for our recipes. The supermarket had a wide selection of fresh produce. It's convenient to find everything we need in one place. I compared prices to ensure we got the best deals. That's smart shopping. It helps us save money. The milk was on a special offer, so I bought extra. Good thinking. We can stock up and save for later. I made sure to check the expiration dates on the eggs. Fresh eggs are essential for delicious meals. The chicken was on sale, so I bought a whole chicken. That's a versatile ingredient for various dishes. The supermarket had a helpful staff to assist customers. It's nice to receive assistance when needed. I also used my loyalty card to earn points. Loyalty programs are great for additional benefits. The supermarket had a clean and well-organized layout. A pleasant shopping environment makes a difference. I noticed they had a wide variety of international foods. That's exciting. We can explore new flavors and cuisines. I picked up some spices and sauces to enhance our dishes. Spices add wonderful flavors to our cooking. I paid at the checkout counter and received a receipt. It's important to keep track of our expenses. The cashier was friendly and efficient. 
Good customer service makes the experience enjoyable. I brought the groceries home and stored them properly. Proper storage ensures food stays fresh longer. I'm glad I could contribute to our kitchen supplies. Thank you, John. Your efforts are greatly appreciated. Let's plan our meals using the ingredients we bought. Absolutely, I look forward to cooking delicious meals. Shopping at the supermarket was a success. It was indeed. We're well stocked and ready to cook. I enjoy our shopping adventures, Anna. Me too, John. It's always a fun experience. Let's continue exploring new ingredients and recipes. I'm excited to try new culinary creations with you, John. Thank you for joining me on this shopping trip, Anna. Lesson 11, Planning Activities for a Trip I'll mark it on our calendar. What activities can we do while we're there? We can go hiking and explore the beautiful nature trails. That sounds adventurous. I'm excited to be surrounded by nature. We can also visit the local museums and art galleries. That's a great idea. We'll get to experience the local culture. Let's not forget about trying the local cuisine. Absolutely. We should indulge in the regional delicacies. We can also go on a boat tour to explore the coastline. That would be a fantastic way to enjoy the ocean views. Let's check if there are any festivals or events happening during our visit. Attending local festivals would be a memorable experience. We can also plan a day trip to the nearby historical landmarks. Exploring historical sites will give us a glimpse into the past. How about spending a day at the beach, soaking up the sun? Relaxing at the beach sounds like the perfect way to unwind. We can rent bicycles and explore the city on two wheels. That's a fun and eco-friendly way to get around. Let's also set aside time for shopping and exploring local markets. Shopping for souvenirs and experiencing local markets is a must. How about trying some adventure activities like ziplining or kayaking? That would add an adrenaline rush to our trip. Count me in. Let's not forget to take plenty of photos to capture the memories. Absolutely. Photos will be a great way to reminisce later. We should also leave some free time for relaxation and spontaneity. That's important. We don't want to feel overwhelmed by a packed schedule. Let's make sure to research and plan ahead for any required reservations. Good point. Planning ahead will help us avoid any disappointments. I'm excited about the activities we have planned for our trip. 
Me too, Anna. It's going to be an unforgettable adventure. I'm grateful to have you as my travel companion, John. Likewise, Anna. Let's make amazing memories together. Thank you for your input and enthusiasm in planning, John. Thank you, Anna. Your ideas have made our trip even more exciting. I can't wait to embark on this journey with you, John. The countdown begins. It's going to be an incredible trip, Anna. Lesson 12, Exploring Secondhand Shops. That's a great idea. We can discover new secondhand shops together. I love the thrill of finding unique treasures at thrift stores. It's like going on a treasure hunt. You never know what you'll find. Exactly. And it's a sustainable way to shop and reduce waste. Let's start by researching the best secondhand shops in our area. We can read reviews and ask for recommendations from friends. Once we have a list, we can plan a day to visit them. It'll be fun to explore different neighborhoods and their hidden gems. We can also check if any of the shops have vintage clothing or accessories. Vintage pieces add a touch of nostalgia and style to our wardrobes. We should keep an eye out for unique home decor items as well. I love decorating our space with one-of-a-kind finds. It's also a great opportunity to support local charities that run thrift shops. Absolutely. Our purchases can make a positive impact on the community. We should bring reusable bags to carry our fines. Good idea. Let's be eco-conscious throughout our shopping trip. We can set a budget for each shop to stay within our means. That way, we can enjoy the experience without overspending. Don't forget to try items on before making a purchase. It's important to ensure the clothes fit well and are in good condition. We should also check for any flaws or damages before buying. That way, we won't have any surprises when we get home. Let's make a list of specific items we're looking for. That will help us stay focused and organized during our shop visits. If we find something we love but it doesn't fit, we can consider alterations. That's a great idea. It opens up more possibilities for unique finds. We can bring a friend along and make it a fun group activity. Shopping with friends adds laughter and different perspectives. And we can share our exciting finds and swap recommendations. It's like having our own little community of fashion enthusiasts. Let's be open-minded and willing to explore different styles. Trying new styles can be a fun way to express ourselves. We should also be patient and take our time browsing through the racks. 
the best finds often require a bit of digging. I'm looking forward to our thrift store adventure, Anna. Me too, John. It's going to be a memorable and fashionable journey. Thank you for suggesting this idea, Anna. I can't wait to start. Lesson 13, Ensuring Parking Lot Security I've noticed that there are security cameras in the parking area. That's reassuring. It adds an extra layer of safety for our vehicles. It's good to know that the staff is monitoring the parking lot. Yes, having vigilant staff ensures a secure environment for everyone. The presence of security cameras can deter potential criminals. Absolutely. They act as a deterrent and provide valuable evidence if needed. It's important to park our vehicles in well-lit areas within the camera's view. Well-lit areas make it less attractive for thieves to target our cars. We should also remember to lock our vehicles and not leave any valuables inside. Locking our cars and keeping valuables out of sight can prevent break-ins. It's a good practice to be aware of our surroundings when entering or leaving the parking lot. Yes, we should always be mindful of any suspicious activities or individuals. If we notice anything unusual, we should report it to the staff immediately. Reporting any suspicious behavior can help maintain a safe parking environment. It's important to follow any parking regulations and guidelines. Following the rules ensures a smooth and organized parking experience. We should also be considerate of other drivers and park within the designated spaces. Being considerate and parking properly helps avoid unnecessary conflicts. If we encounter any issues or concerns with parking, we can reach out to the staff for assistance. The staff is there to help us and address any parking-related problems. It's reassuring to know that measures are in place to ensure our vehicle's security. Yes, it gives us peace of mind while we go about our activities. Let's make sure to spread awareness about parking lot security among our friends and family. Sharing information can help everyone stay vigilant and protect their vehicles. We can also encourage others to report any suspicious activities they observe. Together, we can create a safer parking environment for everyone. Thank you for discussing this important topic with me, Anna. Thank you, John. It's essential to prioritize our safety and security. Let's continue to be mindful and proactive when it comes to parking lot security. Lesson 14, Tempting Vegetarian Lasagna I came across a recipe for a vegetarian lasagna that sounds interesting. Could you share it? Absolutely. I'd love to. It's a delicious and healthy alternative to traditional lasagna. What are the main ingredients for this vegetarian version? Instead of meat, 
we'll be using layers of sautéed vegetables like zucchini, bell peppers, and mushrooms. That sounds flavorful. What about the sauce and cheese? We'll use a rich tomato sauce seasoned with herbs and spices. For the cheese, we can use a combination of mozzarella, ricotta, and parmesan. Can we also add some greens, like spinach or kale? Definitely. Adding greens will give the lasagna an extra nutritional boost. How about the lasagna noodles? Are they the same as regular ones? Yes, we'll use regular lasagna noodles. Just make sure to cook them al dente before layering. Do we need any special equipment or tools to make this lasagna? Nothing out of the ordinary. Just a baking dish and basic kitchen utensils. That's convenient. Now, let's talk about the layering process. We'll start with a thin layer of tomato sauce at the bottom of the baking dish. And then we add a layer of lasagna noodles? That's right. Followed by a layer of sautéed vegetables and a sprinkle of cheese. How many layers should we aim for? It depends on the size of the baking dish, but typically around three to four layers. Once we finish layering, what's the next step? We repeat the process until we run out of ingredients, making sure to end with a layer of sauce and cheese on top. How long do we bake it for, and at what temperature? Bake it in a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit 190 degrees Celsius for about 30 to 40 minutes, or until the cheese is golden and bubbly. That sounds mouth-watering. I can't wait to try it. It's a crowd pleaser, even for non vegetarians. The flavors are incredible. I'll definitely give it a go. Thank you for sharing this recipe, Anna. You're welcome, John. Enjoy your vegetarian lasagna adventure. I will, Anna. I'm grateful for your culinary inspiration. Let me know how it turns out. Happy cooking! I certainly will. Thanks again, Anna.